Hope I appreciate it. Hey guys, it's your midday girl, Chelsea Corinne here, and I'm so excited for this video because I get to really express a passion of mine, and it, which is all things, I guess you would quote unquote call it nerdy and fandomy. And I'm very, I'm already decked out. I got my Spider-Man t-shirt and I'm gonna stand up big on my Doctor Who leggings on. I don't know if that's a weird look there, but I got it going on because we are talking to Sean and Greg from Level Up Entertainment at the Hamilton Mall for an event that's coming up at the end of the month. Thank you guys so much for coming, first of all. Thanks for having us. I really wanted to do a would you rather for fandom world and nerdy world. So I've got about a few, well, maybe 20 some odd questions I got from the internet and from myself and some friends. So this will be testing out well, maybe we agree, oh, maybe we disagree. <laughs> this, could get, this could be yeah. scary. All right. So, would you rather have a wand or a lightsaber? Lightsaber. Lightsaber. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Since you get lightsaber, would you rather? Because uh, I got this is somebody sent in. Would you rather a sonic screwdriver or a lightsaber? Lightsaber. Uh, I mean, you can. That's the thing, right? Like, it depends on what the wand does, but sonic yeah. screwdrivers can do just about anything. Well, I mean, yeah. that's that's why I think they're kind of lame because they do everything. Whatever uh, you what? can think about, you just you, you hit a button and some color pops up. You know, with a lightsaber, you use it like whether, know. you know you could cut cut open a door, you could fight with it, but. I don't know. I like. Don't get me wrong. I like Doctor Who and Sonic Screwdriver. <laughs> you're, you yeah. know, you're staring at me yeah. because you know I've got the Doctor Who yeah. pants on. I don't want to offend you. And I've got my Doctor Who phone case going on. All right, no, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> and talk to us a little about this Halloween comic fest that you've got going on. Well, it's a yearly thing that started to think about five years ago, I believe it was, and it's basically another free comic book day where to give out free comics, mostly Halloween themed. Um, and we expand on having costume contests, and we have vendors and artists, local artists, local vendors, uh, showing off their stuff. Uh, Star Wars or Star Trek? Star Wars. Star Trek. Yeah, this, right. this Star is the point. Of, this is we're fighting about. It all <laughs> yeah, the time. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Would you rather be Han Solo's kid or Indiana Jones's kid? Ooh. Oh man. Oh. oh Very oh. proud of this question. This one That's I came up on my own. So uh, I guess Kylo Ren or uh, <laughs> yeah. or possibly Shia. Shia 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 oh, <laughs> then go Han Solo. <laughs> yeah. And when you put it that way, that definitely kind of breaks it down to, to giving you a better answer. I feel. <laughs> yeah, I would agree with that. Put it that way, definitely Han Solo is good. Then. Yeah. All right. Between <laughs> we're gonna go Joker versus Joker, Ledger or Leto. Oh, without that, uh, Heath Ledger. Yeah. 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 And that's not even Great. remotely like, uh, a question. <laughs> and I feel bad because I, I know like they cut off Leto's scenes off, so it could have been better, but. Uh, Heath Ledger wasn't. was, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it wasn't. But, uh, Green Arrow or Hawkeye? Oh, man. Uh, they're my, like my two favorite characters. I can't oh. pick. Oh, no. I, I love the archers. Like, I always play like, in games like the archer, long, mm -hmm. long bow. Um, I, uh, I'm gonna go with <laughs> Hawkeye, because he has Pizza Dog. Okay. So I'm gonna go with Hawkeye. Hawkeye? <laughs> I would go with Hawkeye as well. Awesome. Would you have Daenerys Targaryen's dragons, or would you rather have Hagrid's Buckbeak? I'm gonna go with the dragons. Okay. Do I get to control the dragons? Like, will they listen to me? Yeah, you'd be a dragon okay, rider. We'll go with that. You dragons. get to control the dragons. Yeah, yeah I don't agree with that too. Dragons. Yeah. I saw, so you're gonna have demos, like makeup demos, and workshops for costumes as well. Mm -hmm. What does that kind of entail? Sure. Um, we're we have a special makeup artist coming. Uh, her name's Emily. She's been um, actually she's won our costume contest in the past. Oh, cool! But it, over the years, she's been developing this incredible talent for makeup, and she's going to walk through how to do the zombie makeup. That's so cool. So it's about That's an awesome. hour and a half of her actually doing it in real time, so you'll be able to sit in, oh, watch okay. her do it, and then learn the techniques to do it on your own. <laughs> Would you rather be forced to be a stormtrooper or forced to be in the Hunger Games? Oh man. I'm gonna Pretty say much you're dying either way. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna say stormtrooper because maybe yeah. you can hide in the background. Yeah, because there's like, a lot of. Oh, yeah. What was that? That was crazy, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll agree with that too. I think definitely. <laughs> Would you rather have Iron Man suit or Ant Man suit? I think Ant Man suit would be more fun. It would be. I like, agree on that. I'm gonna have to go Iron Man. Iron Man? Yeah. Well, does it come with being a billionaire also? And like some club has <laughs> a suit? Because if I say kids, I'll go with Iron it's Man true. also. It's true. If you're going with character yeah. guys, there's no. Chris Evans as Captain America or Human Torch? Captain, Captain America. America. Yeah. Easy enough. Easy enough. Would you rather spend the day with Professor Umbridge? Or with Danny Rand telling you how he's the Iron Fist all day long. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's that's hard. They're both horrible. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go with Iron Fist. Iron Fist. 
Yeah, maybe they, they can meet like Luke Cage in that, maybe sure, something. Sure, there, yeah, there might be go. some benefits meet to Meet Daredevil, it. maybe, I don't That's know. That's fair. There might be some benefits. Yeah. Alrighty, let's see what else we have. Would you rather live in, this is the big, big debate one, would you rather live in Marvel Universe or DC Universe? Oh, dude. That is a tough question because if you're in Marvel, uh, New York's getting destroyed. Like, <laughs> Every day. Well, yeah. 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 Like, never... Someone in the Midwest in the Marvel Universe, you know, don't have to live in, <laughs> in New York. <laughs> and then yeah, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Marvel. Okay. Only because there are fewer cities that have disappeared. Yeah, I would sure. say because really Coach, just one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like all the cities in DC get destroyed or disappear. Or something. So I would say I would say New York City and Marvel. Universe. They also have like way more galactic threats where like. Dark side just shows up. Yeah, and everybody's part of his army now. Yeah. <laughs> Marvel, you could maybe like move out to the country. Yeah. Just quiet. Yeah. Quiet. Yeah. <laughs> a bit quieter. Do you have any tips for people that are going to be dressing up? Because it is a costume contest. What are your kind of tips and tricks that you would suggest for people? Uh, yeah. I mean, honestly, just have fun with it. It, yeah. it could it could be store bought. It could be homemade. You know, just have fun. With it. There's no wrong costume. You can't be wrong about having a costume. Whatever you like, yeah. whatever. Whatever nerd fandom thing you like, wear it, be proud about it, and that's yeah. what it's all about. You know, it's about having no, not being scared to show what you love. One of my favorite co uh, costumes that we've had in the past, and actually won, was uh, a girl dressed up as a gamer girl. So she had a hoodie and um, was carrying Mountain Dew and Doritos in her controller <laughs> and had a headset. And that won, like, that was enough. You know, that's it was a real awesome. simple costume, but it was all in the presentation and how she carried yeah. herself, and everyone loved it. Well, that's what I like about, like, uh, I guess cons and, and, and the cosplay world is that people get so creative and everybody is so appreciative of everybody else, which is kind of yeah. a cool thing. It's not a very judgy field whatsoever. Not it's you, you kind of appreciate everybody else's work and uh, it's a kind of a cool little world. And yeah. it's, it's very, it's a positive world. Yes. It really is a very positive world. But the event is coming up on the 28th and it runs pretty much all day long, yep. from 10 to 5, yes. but you have like from 3 to 5 is more of the costume contest time, or the main part? 4 to 5 is the main part. Um, okay. Yeah, we'll actually have the contest on a stage. Uh, we're going to have MCs and professional cosplayers as the judges. Oh, very cool. Uh, there'll be an audience. Uh, you can um, sign up from 10 to 2, so you do need to be there a little bit earlier if you want to participate. You don't have to hang out all day. And then as long as you're back by four, you're in the contest, I'll line you up and you go on stage and present your costume. Very well, I'm excited to be there. I'm gonna be there from three to five for the event, but of course, go early because you wanna make sure you can sign up for it. Would you rather spend the day with Sherlock? I'm gonna go with Spock. I thought condescending. <laughs> <laughs> Judging everything you do. <laughs> They're interesting to watch from afar, but you don't wanna interact with them in real life yeah. kind of situation. I think I'd go with Spock also. Spock? Yeah. Um, would you rather have Green Lantern's ring or Thor's hammer? Ring. Green Lantern. Yeah, yeah, because you can make any pretend you want with the ring. You just true. Get stuff with the hammer. <laughs> you could make a hammer with the, the ring. True, that's true. You also. could yeah, have yeah. both. Uh, who is your, this is not really would you rather, who is your least favorite superhero? Oh, dude, there's some really bad ones out there. Uh, my problem is I like bad superheroes. <laughs> like, where's their job? Um, <laughs> I like, there's, so there's there's this one legion of superhero um, character called Matter Eater Lad, and his ability is to eat matter. So he, he might be the worst. Worst? So, I mean, everything is made out of matter, so he can just eat anything. And that's yeah. Oh, man. Not I'm, a very good superpower. <laughs> yeah, I just, I can't think of it off the top of my head. Wow, I'm, I'm drawing a blank here. Let me, um, do, 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 do. <laughs> there was something controversial. Say Harley Quinn. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was yeah. My next question is, though, the least favorite villain? So, I mean, she could kind of fall into there, too. Well, well, you kind of in between the both right now. Yeah, I, I mean, I kind of like Harley Quinn. I guess I like Harley Quinn, older Harley Quinn, like animated series Harley Quinn. I like the new Harley Quinn, who's Marvel kind of became Robbie. more like, who became like like Deadpool. Like, she became Fair. like a fourth wall breaking. Fair. My least favorite hero, oh, man. I'm Pharaoh lad maybe from Legion also. Okay. He just has a mask and does nothing, so. Yeah, Legion has some pretty terrible. Yeah. Terrible, awful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so then, least favorite villain? I, I mean, honestly, I, I don't like him because yeah, he's way too powerful. Um, I would say his name is uh, Graviton. Basically, he's so like, he just has power of gravity, so he just push down the ground, and that's what he does. So he's really super powerful, and I feel like that kind of villain should be able to beat anybody, and he doesn't. Doesn't. So, there you go with that one. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Stilt Man. Okay. <laughs> he has stilts. <laughs> it's gonna sound pretty terrible. I don't. I can't pick a least favorite villain, but I I go very mainstream on my least favorite superhero. I am. I cannot. 
uh, Superman. Oh, and you know, it's fair I mean, There's a lot of issues I have with Superman. As glasses wearing people, <laughs> it really bothers me. I know they've explained it, but I, if I take off my glasses, I still look like me. Yeah. Or I also want to know how he fits boots underneath his shoes. That's awesome. Or his cape. He should look very bulky during the day, and he doesn't. And yeah. I have a problem with that. That's, that's that fair is enough. Just, yeah, yeah. Those two things irritate me enough to not, to not want. Would you rather clean Hulk's toenails with a, while he sleeps, or or Wolverine's claws? Pretty much, you're ending up dead when they wake up. So you're, I mean, that's uh, regardless. That's, that's brutal. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hulk might appreciate it though. <laughs> like Hulk, some of these, he's a nice guy. He's, Fair. You know, so maybe he'll get his anger. Hulk with Hulk. Hulk appreciate it. Yeah, Hulk yeah. Hulk yeah. Hulk yeah. Hulk yeah. Hulk <laughs> Alrighty, well, that's that's it. We went through all of our Would You Rather You Survive. Sweet. Sometimes barely, but you yeah. did it. <laughs> but don't forget, stop on by all day long, the Level Up Entertainment Halloween, what is it? Halloween Comic Fest. Oh, yes, Halloween free Halloween. comics, free candy. Yeah, and uh, who doesn't want free comics and free candy? Yeah, yeah and Stranger Things is, is a co sponsor this year. Oh, very so cool. So right. we've got some Stranger Things merch, and there's going to be a big uh, standee there with Eleven's face cut out. You can put your face into it oh. and take a picture of it. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. cool. That's one show I haven't watched yet. Oh. I know, I just said it, I said it out, so now it's there yeah, in the world, and now I'm gonna yeah. get crap for it. But October 28th, stop on by. I'm gonna be there from 3 to 5, but the event goes on all day from 10 to 5. And thank you guys so much. Thank, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Come on.